You like bananas, Mira? She's like, no, I don't want a banana. Look who's waiting outside of my tent. Hi, Mira. Did you bring your toy? Buenos dias. Man, it's a nice one. Buenos dias, John. Buenos dias, amigo. How you feeling? Not pretty good. Yeah, just woke up, but uh, had a pretty decent sleep, even though we were just we had, this, we had uh, entertaining uh, ranchero music played live <laughs> just over the hill till like four in the morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of. They re had a resurgence then, I think. And you know. fireworks and explosions all night. <laughs> yeah, it was good though. It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Mira, you tried to wake me up at four in the morning. I remember that. You want this? So, John, what are you selling at your yard sale here? Everything. <laughs> Everything, Everything must, must go. go. <laughs> no price too low. <laughs> yeah. You are always ready long before me. Yes, but you're making beautiful movie, movies for <laughs> everyone to enjoy the travels with. So. <laughs> That's going to take some time. Yeah, that does take some time. I have to run yeah. around with this little camera. Yeah, and I'll let you in on a little secret. But don't tell Ryan. I get up a little bit earlier and pack real fast. <laughs> so I win. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely win. <laughs> Mirror the sun. The sun just came up. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Hi, buddy. Oh, yes. I love you. Look at that. We can just enjoy the sunrise together. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that sunrise. You need to cuddle with me tomorrow night or tonight. It was cold. <laughs> it's breakfast time. Check it out. I got my principes. And you know my friend Dana? She starts every day with a cookie. So today I'm going to take after Dana and eat a cookie for breakfast. John, you want one? I'm good, buddy. I had coffee. <laughs> Mira, cookies! Thank you. Mm -hmm. Pretty. Okay, here we go. Hmm. All right, thank you, flat piece of ground amidst a field of spiny thorns. John, are we ready? Yeah, man. Definitely ready. Oh, yeah, you've been ready. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go. Another beautiful day in Mexican paradise. Vamanos! All right, Mira. Yeah. It's a great day, isn't it? <laughs> We're excited. Come on, Mira, say it with me. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies. Whammies. Somebody saw an animal. <laughs> uh -huh. Here comes the cavalry. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Buenos dias. <laughs> We've sure, certainly gotten chased by a lot of dogs on this ride, but they don't really do any damage, they just make noise. Yes. I'm really enjoying riding through these small pueblos. It reminds me a lot of the little towns 
that I worked in in Honduras way back when I was a Peace Corps volunteer. So we've only ridden a few miles from where we were uh, and there's lots of teeny little villages all around and then we just ride up on this super fancy bank and there's some you know infrastructure for banking to happen. John you've seen these right? <laughs> yeah I've seen about 30 of these throughout Mexico and uh, they're always out in these small little towns like we we camped out in, in a field where there's no one around. These things they're always empty. They're everywhere. We're gonna see at least two more on this trip and uh, they're completely empty. I wish I could hop inside and sleep inside one of them. Yeah. It's a good shelter, but yeah, I don't know. I have no idea why they're here. Maybe they're gonna activate them at some point, but this yeah. just, it looks so out of place to have this shiny strip mall looking bank in the middle of this village. See, there's a guy coming down with a horse-drawn carriage. You would not expect it in this area. Buenos dias, amigo. So there is an art installation down in southern Texas near Big Bend, the town of Marfa. They have a Gucci store along a road and it's just for show and this kind of reminds me of that. It's just, it's a little too shiny for this little village. I hope it gets going and gets up and running. Uh, I think it'd be very helpful for the people around here so they don't have to travel long distances to a big town to access their banks. So we came through this little pueblo looking for a comedor, a place to get hot food, and none of them were open, it's pretty early. And we talked to some guys on the street, and then before we know it, boom, they just came up with some nice warm tamales. And now we're just hanging out here, making friends. This is Mexico, this is why I love Mexico. You can show up anywhere pretty much and make friends very quickly. And they're so generous, and uh, it just really, when you stop and talk to people in these little pueblos, it helps you get to know each little part of this country because each state is pretty different, just like in the United States. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Rigoberto. Rigoberto. Mm -hmm. ¿Y usted nació en este pueblo? Sí, claro que sí. ¿Cómo es la vida acá? Uh, tranquila. Sí. Mm -hmm. Y la gente parece muy generosa y muy ama amable, ¿no? Exactamente. Yeah. Sí. Aquí te paras, te invitan un vaso de agua, un café a veces. Uh -huh. Y si hay una, ¿cómo se dice? Una fiesta. Sí. <risa> siempre hay fiesta en México. Siempre, mm. siempre. Buenos días. Like bananas, Mira? She's mm -hmm. like, no, I don't want a banana. Sometimes you eat banana. Eat the banana. It's healthy. Okay. Look, John's eating a banana. Dad's eating bananas. Yeah. We're making a concerted effort to eat or try to eat a little bit more healthy foods. Got some bananas, got some aguacates, right? Mm, yeah, man. Got some aguacates up here. It's so easy to eat a lot of junk food in Mexico. Every little tienda. It's pretty much just stocked with cookies and chips and junk food and sugary drinks. And when you're on a tour and you're hot and you're tired, junk food is really what you want, kind of. But this is, this is better at times, at least for your body. But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to eat some junk food later today or even in five minutes from now. <laughs> so we are in an agua purificadora place, which is a great place to fill up with water, usually it's very cheap, but the best part is, is you're not buying these single-use plastic bottles and just dumping them in here and then trashing them. So when you can find these places, it's definitely the score, it's what you want. And this lady was nice enough to give it to us for free. Everybody gets water. Oh, 
Mira's got her cool looking goggles. Ole, 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 ole. Gotta take, take advantage of all those underpasses for some ole-ing, it's good for the soul. Now, my friends, we go up. First day was pretty easy, riding through the valley this morning. But I think from here on out, it's a lot of up and down and up and down. When Mira's tongue's out, you know, it's party time. John's too. <laughs> hey, Mira, wait up. <laughs> it's really nice and warm. I haven't felt heat like this in a while. It's been very cold in Boulder. Makes sense, it's January. It's always hard to show how steep something is with these GoPros, but let me assure you, this is about as steep a hill as, as I've ever ridden. Oh. While talking and holding a camera. Yeah. This is a big one. Damn. You weren't kidding, John, when you said there's a lot of elevation gain. Wow. Look at that. The good thing about climbing high is you, you get wonderful views. Hi, John. Hey, Ryan. How are you? Oh, you know, just riding up mountains in Oaxaca. Riding bikes? Riding bikes. Yeah. Doing what we love. What's your treat for the day, John? I'm not really sure. You're not sure? They look weird, don't they? Yeah. So it's basically chocolate and uh, aramanth. I think we, we see it as in English. It's an ancient grain. And they just uh, coat it with, uh, hold it together with chocolate. <laughs> so it's pretty damn good. Yeah. But it doesn't melt in the heat, so it's, it's brilliant. It is treat time, and I'm going to eat some cookies. And I'm feeling a little worked. I haven't ridden hard since the SoCal Ramble over a month ago. And uh, I don't think I've eaten quite enough today, so I'm gonna eat some healthy Principe chocolate cookies. <laughs> and we have a very good view to eat our snacks. Look at that. Viva Oaxaca. How are you doing, Mira? You've been a champ going up these hills. Yep. You are a champ.
We are now in a city, a pretty big city called Miahuatlan, and we're both super hungry. And check it out. I got another enfrijolada. Gotta have my beans every day, bean powered. But wait, there's more. We got a plate of nachos. We got a tajao. Oh man, this is like Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yum, 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 yum. You always wait so patiently while we sit and eat. You're such a sweetheart, yeah. And this restaurant was nice enough to let us bring the bikes into the restaurant. Good afternoon, Nira. Hello, turkeys. How does that look, John? Dude, this looks so good. This looks really good. Yeah. We just talked to a local guy at a tienda. We're asking him for safe places to camp, and he's like, camp next to the church. So here we go. The sun is setting, and it's beautiful, and we had another great day, and I love Mexico. High five, another good day. Yep. Boom. Boom. How far we go? 73 kilometers. Kilometers. Almost 1,300 meters elevation gain. Right on. Good. Yeah, the uh, details will be up in the screen here. Somewhere. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and subscribe, too. That's right. <laughs> oh, what did you bring me? Other way. Over there. There you go. Good job. All right, folks. It's time to get to know John a little bit better. John, my man. Hey, buddy. How you We're doing? We're going to get really close. Yeah. We're going to get to know you really well. <laughs> That's close enough. Yeah. So you and I met <clears throat> in Baja randomly in January 2020. Since then, we've done a lot of rides together. But you've been riding your bike with a dog for many years. How did all this get started? Yeah. I mean, I have a background in the outdoors. Uh, I grew up uh, outside of a city. And so you know, play rough and tumble as a kid and, and love the outdoors. And so it was a natural fit for me to get into travel and then eventually buy a bike and and I love it. And, and so I had planned a trip to Spain. I had a dog, I wanted to do some, some bike touring, some bike packing, and I just wanted to figure out how to bring the dog along. And there was really not a lot on the internet, people doing uh, bike packing. So I just figured it out uh, bit by bit. So I uh, got a trailer, figured out a single wheel trailer, trained the dog to hop in and out. He was smart, border collie, melon. And um, after twice or three times going to a park, I had tickets to Spain. We spent six months learning how to bike pack uh, while traveling through Spain. And uh, since that time, I've done all kinds of stuff, uh, you know, into Morocco. And then over the last couple of years, I've traveled across north to south the U.S. five times, down Baja three times. And it was on the second trip that I met you. Um, and yeah, we've had, like you said, we've had a bunch of great adventures. That was a fortunate meeting. We've had a lot of great adventures. Are you tired, bud? We got 20 more miles, so wake up. <laughs> yeah. And you're gonna travel around the world for the next few years, right? Yeah, that's right. So um, the plan is to ride all seven continents. So we're still in North America. COVID's uh, kicked that pretty hard. But yeah, so after uh, we leave on this trip, I'll do a few things, head into Central America and South America, and uh, and then we'll we'll see where the trip evolves from there. It could be uh, Australia or New Zealand. Um, yeah, there's there's some things I'll keep under wraps for now, but basically uh, the goal is all seven continents, and mostly with Mira. And uh, oh, yeah. yeah, Mira, we love you. Yep. Yeah. So and, oh, I see Mira on your bandana. Yeah, these you are... have some merch, right? And you have a YouTube channel. You're telling stories. Let's pump you up a little bit. Yeah. So we got uh, stickers and these custom handmade uh, bandanas. And these are we'll do these in block orders, and we'll announce those on our Instagram page. 
The Instagram is Mira La Pera, or Mira the Dog in Spanish, with little underscores between the words. I'll put it in there, man. Awesome. And then Omni Tierra, which you'll put down below, is the YouTube channel. We don't do a lot on there. It's a lot of work, as you know, Ryan can attest to. He's He's got a lot of experience, and, and it um, and makes it look easy, yeah. really. It's a lot of work. So most of our stuff is on Instagram. Um, we do have a Patreon page we you know if, if people want to support us and help us out we greatly appreciate that um but we're still going to ride around the world and have a good time and and so yeah come on to the instagram check it out and and uh say hello and and uh see what we got going on there and this is your beast and it looks like quite a quite a beast it looks like laundry day <laughs> yeah it does look like laundry day you're you're drying out all your clothes from a long day but obviously Mira goes in the basket right here and you've got the pinion and gates low maintenance baby all day long titanium frame and you know got the Ren fork up front and it's taking you many thousands of miles yeah and many thousand more yeah I mean you, you pointed out the basket that's basically what the bike is built around and then because of where we're traveling how far we're traveling I wanted something low maintenance and and robust and so, uh, yeah, you know, running Maxxis tires, great beefy tires that roll well, handle well. And uh, the pinion and gate system is super low maintenance. And because we have so much weight on here with, with Mira in the back, you know, I, I, uh, I've upgraded to Swiss stop uh, rotors and pads to give me lots of stopping power. But uh, yeah, that's the beast. It's, um, it's only a little bit longer than a regular mountain bike, honestly. And that's just done so that Mira is balanced over the rear axle just for handling characteristics. But it's, it's your basic uh, custom titanium spaceship <laughs> to take me around the <laughs> and world. Really quickly, when you go up steep hills, obviously you can't take her in the basket. So she gets out and runs a little bit. Yeah, that's right. So I, Mira's, I put a harness on her. So it's actually connected sort of midway down her back. And then what'll happen is I'll say out and I'll, I'll hold the leash a little bit and just ease the load as she jumps down onto the ground. Cause we're, we'll be moving, I'll, I will slow down, but it could happen, you know, in and out of the basket, maybe a hundred times over the day. And then she'll walk and, or, or trot beside me. Uh, we're usually going pretty slow up the hills and that's why she's out. And so I can drop a bunch of weight. And then as we get to the top, I'll stop and then I'll, I'll tell her to go up into the basket and I'll time the lift just to help her get up into the basket. She can make the jump, but like I said, it's a lot of time that she's in and out of the basket. And so I just try and ease the load on her. And uh, then she's comfortable in the back basket. And so she'll often lay down. The, uh, one key thing is it's well padded around the rim for her head and also inside the basket. And then uh, the other thing she'll do is if it's rough terrain or very fast terrain, she'll stand up. But what she does is she puts her shoulder against my lower back and she can get some balance from that and I can sort of feel where she's at. So we communicate pretty well together actually when we're on, on the road. So it's, uh, someone yelled at us the other day, she said that she's going to fall out, but she never does. <laughs> she serves pretty good. Yeah. There he goes. Spooky Ryan. Not so spooky, Ryan. Oh, I'm in bed, and I'm happy. And you know what? Something that uh, Dana does at the end of every day. She talks about her favorite part of every day. And it's just a gratitude practice. And I like it. And so today I'm going to share my favorite part of today. And it was this morning when we were in that little town. And these gentlemen saw us on the side of the road. And we started talking. And they just went into their houses and came out with hot tamales. And just gave them to us for no reason that we didn't ask for them we didn't tell them we were hungry they just brought us some tamales and that was really cool and that's something that happens in mexico a lot you know and it, it's one of the main reasons why i love this country people are just so warm and generous and welcoming so that was my favorite part of the day and now my favorite part is sleeping <laughs> buenas noches It's, these are about the steepest roads I've ever seen. Yeah, and the thing is, like, we can both ride this, but we walk faster than we ride.
I'm jumping in here really quickly to let you know that my book, The Long Way Home, about my very first bike adventure from Honduras to Boulder, is now for sale at doozerbook.com.